In this project, we will discuss the natural ripening processes of fruit. This is Nash. And I'm Mazin. Natural fruit ripening is an uncontrolled positive feedback process. As we all know, fruit ripens to become more attractive to potential consumers. Therefore, it is proactive for the fruit to all be ripe at the same time. As the fruit begins to ripen, it releases ethylene to trigger the ripening of surrounding fruit. Ethylene stimulates its own production and suppresses the production of auxin, a chemical that suppresses ethylene production. As evident by this, ethylene production is a completely autocatalytic process. As entire orchards and fields of fruit encounter increased ethylene concentrations, the amount of ethylene increases exponentially. To preserve the fruit for sale or use, farmers harvest the fruit unripe and commercially ripen it when it is ready for use. To control the ripening of fruit, a company takes crates of unripe fruit and places them in a well-sealed fridge. From there, they begin releasing manufactured ethylene at a constant rate until the room is at their desired concentration of ethylene. To control the ripening process, the controller uses the concentration of ethylene in the room as feedback. As the fruit begins to ripen, ethylene concentrations in the room increase, so the controller uses this information to begin to release carbon dioxide into the room to return the concentration of ethylene to an appropriate level. Although the natural process is a positive feedback loop, most distributors use a PI controller for their control. This allows for variable gas input to the system while attempting to keep the concentration of the room a constant value. The inputs to the system is the concentration of ethylene and the concentration of carbon dioxide, while the outputs of the system are the concentration of ethylene, which is the desired controlled variable. Fortunately, nothing is moving, so the only coordinate frame is the fridge-centered frame. And that's the way the apple ripens.